Hi guys, it's Steve at Golf Tech Systems. We are in the Abingdon Demo Center. Uh, exciting video for us today. I've got a new feature to show you on Trapman. Uh, now this isn't out yet. This is um, part of beta testing. Uh, we're part of beta testing with Trapman, uh, like a few of the guys. So we get a little bit of, uh, of the new features that are coming out first to give some feedback and report bug testing, that sort of thing. But wanted to give you a little sneak peek into a feature that's coming out. Uh, now this has been, I think you can see this out on the app uh, that the Tor Pros use, but it's now gonna be inside um, TPS software, inside a new sim build effectively. So we're getting to get straight into it. Uh, let me just grab the mouse, where are we here? Uh, so it's in practice and you'll see it's performance center. So target practice used to take that whole tile up, the same as range, but now you'll see performance center um, is up on this side. So we will get it loaded up. Uh, we're just gonna use a guest. Uh, just to get it loading for you so you can see it. And this, if you don't know about this or you haven't seen like the Trackman video before talking about this, this is all about shots gained. So this is about hitting out to a target, all about the carry number. And then as you're hitting your shots, it will tell you strokes gained effectively. And that's obviously gonna move the more shots you hit. The thing I like about this is you can set your distance so you could set it up to a single distance or you could put like a minimum and a maximum distance you want to work to and then Trackman will just throw random distances between those two numbers. And for me, that's a really strong thing. I really like it for this and it's something that I would actually do if I'm coming into practice, setting something up like this. I'm not going back to the touch screen or the PC, the mouse, etc., uh, to change things effectively, to change distances that I want to then hit to. It's just giving me some good tests and it's showing me how I'm performing as I hit each shot. And for that, I like it. So here you can see the main screen. Uh, we can see here we've got it set up with um, like a tolerance from a minimum maximum number. So you can see we've got 50 to 150 yards. We can deselect that and then go to a fixed number. Um, I'm going to show you um, a slight mix so you can see what happens between shots with like the variable distances. So I've only got a gap wedge in my hand. I'm going to take it easy and just put just a 10 yard swing, 85 to 95 yards. Pin positions, you can then dictate which pin position you want to go to. You've got the, uh, the view down there of where the pin positions are, but we're going to leave it on random. So effectively you'll see the pin positions change. So that's a nice feature. And then we can just click confirm. Just pop the mouse down. So um, yeah, in terms of what you're going to see on the screen, we can see our flag out in the distance there. We've got some data tiles up in top left. Obviously we can edit those, it's not a problem. Bottom left hand corner, we can see the shots. It will list each shot every time I hit one. We've then got down the bottom here, the distance to this target. So remember I've done 85 to 95 yards. The first one is 94. So every time I hit a shot, that number's gonna change and adjust. Right hand side of the screen, we've got the overhead map, like the mini map. We can see the circle around the flag. That's what I'm trying to land it in. So that's the carry number. That's what I'm trying to land it in. Top right hand corner, that's where you're gonna see strokes gain. So it's gonna tell you how well you're performing. When I hit the shot out, it's gonna stay in this camera angle. So it's like the T camera angle, you'll see the ball fly. You'll see the ball fly on the, uh, the mini map, the overhead map. The top right hand corner where the strokes gained is, that will move to like the uh, zoomed in uh, video. So you can see like the camera angle where it's landing into target. Have got the 55 inch run in. So you can see that as well. We've got, we've got that on split screen, number data on the left. And then because we're using IO, we've got club delivery video on the right hand side. And this is how I probably would set it up. As I say, if I was personally coming into hits and balls, doing it like this is exactly what I'd want to see. So let's get some out there. Uh, first shots of the day will always be interesting. Uh, 94 yards. Let's see if we can get them reasonable. Thin, nice thin to start. So I'm not going to be lucky, aren't I? Oh, just outside. So you can see up in the top corner, obviously didn't hit it inside the target. Uh, we can now see the next target distance is setting us. So that's given us 90 yards. So we can see that. I'm just going to move that mouse. It's just moving. So let's move that out of the way. Um, so now we've got 90 yards. Let's try and hit a better shot first in the morning. A little bit heavy, a little bit behind the ball and got it inside the circle still, so still good. We can see now I've obviously hit it inside the circle and that's a changed my um, shots gain number. So every time I'm hitting a shot, it's going to adjust. It's great that I've got the, um, with the IO, I do love this, the fact that we can just obviously play that video so I can see exactly what I've done with my strike. Very strong feature of Trapman IO. 
but I like this. I think it's um, it's good that you can just set it up how you want it. As I say, strokes gained in the top corner, the summary up there is always going to change, so I can see how well I'm performing. No interaction with the touchscreen, so I'm not going back and saying, right now I want to hit 100 yards, that sort of thing. I can just put some variables up there, change my clubs accordingly, and just kind of set the practice how I want. Uh, 92 yards. Left it out a bit. Big time left it out. You can see that on the club video there. So toey and open face. Short and right. Not what we want to see. Strokes gained will not be good. 90 yards. And notice the pin positions. Obviously, they're in random. So some are going to get tight. So you might then want to change, obviously, the shot shape that you're hitting. Accordingly, if it was a bit of a longer shot, you might want to start hitting fades into those, into those flags. Better strike. Mm. Warming up a bit now, and yeah, inside the target. So again, that's gonna put us back in the positive. Much better strike. You can see them a face angle on IO, much, much better strike. I really like this. And as I say, I think from all the different areas that Trapman brings in terms of practice, they keep developing new areas, new practice things that you might wanna do. I'd say that's definitely Trapman's strong point in terms of their system uh, with their software. But when features like this are coming out, um, you can see why a lot of people do favour for Trapman and, and IO especially. I think these are the sorts of things that I know our customers and sim users definitely want to see come in. Um, it's great playing courses and that sort of thing, but it's these things that really help you improve. Um, and I think a little bit more kind of work on this that they will keep pushing uh, updates, you know, in terms of what they want to see, what people want to see out of this. It's only going to make it better. Uh, if you need any more information, you can visit us at www.golftechsystems.com.